my dear fifth grade children how are you are you fine are you stay at home okay children be stay in your home so be happy okay ma your first mid day mid day exam completed how did you write the exam i hope that you have written very well okay so we completed from the geography first four lessons isn't it am i correct okay today we will see that that next lesson that is the climate of india what's the title ma that is lesson 5 the title of the lesson is climate of india okay ma in the previous class that is previous lessons we learnt what is the what is climate what is weather what's the difference between climate and weather and what are the factors affecting climate isn't it am i correct okay so so we know can you remember that what is climate s yes. that is this weather and climate we already we learned once i revise it weather means weather refers to how hot cold rainy windy or cloudy it is in a place at a particular time that is a short period of time that is a weather but climate means however climate refers to the general weather conditions prevailing over a large area for a longer period of time okay however climate refers to the general weather conditions prevailing over a large area for a longer period of time that is a climate the weather means that is a short period of time in a particular place but in climate means over a large area for a longer period of time okay can you clear it ma for example in a day the morning might be clear and sunny isn't it but by the evening it might starts to rain that is the weather can change during the day the morning was sunny but the evening was rainy however the climate of delhi is hot during summer isn't it or the coastal plains remain humid throughout the year we know what is a coastal means the land part meet the sea that is a coastal plains remains humid throughout the year okay the clothes we wear and the food we eat depend largely on the climate of the place where we live okay ma this climate also affects the animal and plant life of a particular regions can you clear it okay then we see that the seasons in india that is also the previous lesson we learned how this season happens can you remember ma how this seasons happen that is seasons caused due to the revolution of the earth around the sun in an elliptical orbit that is we learned isn't it ma can you remember it yeah the seasons are caused due to the revolution of the earth around the sun in an elliptical orbit okay so the seasons are caused by the revolution of the earth can you clear it okay ma seasons are divisions of the year defined by changes the climate is yes, now listen here the m- most places experience a few months of hot weather hot weather means that is a summer season and a few months of cold weather that is a winter 
and a few months of rainy season. India has three main seasons. India has three main seasons. That is summer season, rainy season and winter season. Besides these, atom and spring seasons are also observed. Okay, ma? So, now we study from this lesson climate of India. So, India has three main seasons that is summer season, rainy season, winter season. Besides these, atom and spring seasons are also observed. Okay, now we see the summer season. Usually April, May and June. Summer season, the period of time is April, May and June. The summer season starts in the middle of the March and extends till the end of the June. Okay. So, the summer season starts in the middle of the March and extends till the end of the June. The temperature starts increasing from March and May. It is very hot. The temperature is very rises in the May month. During summer, the days are long and the nights are short. We learned the previous lessons. We learned that during summer season, the days are long and the nights are short. Can you clear it ma? Summer season means the days are long and the nights are short. Keep it in your mind. Don't forget. Okay ma? Okay fine. Now see here. Hot and dry winds called loo blow during the day in many parts of northern India. Okay. What is loo? That is hot and dry winds. That is called loo. It's blow during the day in Many parts of northern plains. That is northern India. Okay. Okay, clear it ma. Now listen here. This summer season, it can be very hot in the plains, the desert areas. Very hot in mainly in desert areas and the plateau regions. But less hot in coastal areas. Hilly areas have a pleasant summer. Can you clear it? Okay, ma. Then we see that rainy season. This rainy season begins in June. And June end. Rainy season begins in June end. And it extends till September. So that is June, July, August, September. Okay. So, it starts with end of the June and extend till September. July, August, September. Okay. During this season, winds full of moisture. Moisture means this winds full of water vapor. Because it is flowing from the sea. Flowing from the sea, for example, Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal hit the mainland of India. Okay, these winds are known as monsoon winds. What is monsoon winds ma? The winds flowing from the sea. That winds are called monsoon winds. This winds full of moisture. Because it flowing from the sea. Can you clear it? Can you clear it ma? Okay. Okay, now listen here. Usually June, July and August that is a monsoon. This monsoon arises in early June and gradually moves over the rest of the country. By September it has gone from most of the subcontinent. Subcontinent of India means that we already will land. That is the Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal. These are the subcontinent of India. Okay, it is called this monsoon, it is called the southwest monsoon. Okay, as the winds flow from the direction, it is called southwest monsoon. 
okay now we see that how this monsoon happens how this monsoon happens when winds blow over the sea winds during this season during this rainy season winds full of moisture is blowing from the sea it is called monsoon winds okay now we see the how this monsoon happens okay shall we see okay now listen here when monsoon winds blow over the sea for example arabian sea or bay of bengal anyone see this winds blow from blow over the sea which has been warmed by heat of the sun is blowing over the sea the monsoon winds blow over the sea which has been warmed how it is warmed because of the heat of the sun the winds are warmed so the air picks up lot of water vapor the winds blowing from the sea it picks up lot of water vapor this air wind is full of moisture because it pick up lot of water vapor and also it this air is warmed by the heat of the sun so this rise to the upper parts of the atmosphere you know already know what is atmosphere the layer of air surrounding the earth so this warm air rises the upper parts of the atmosphere here it cools from the atmosphere the air cools and becomes water which falls as a rain on the subcontinent can you clear it ma though the monsoon is very important part of the subcontinent climate the monsoon is very very important all places do not get the same amount of rain during the monsoon as the monsoon winds travel over the subcontinent they lose moisture so the places that receive the yearly monsoons had heavier rain compared to the places where the monsoon reaches late can you clear it ma what is monsoons winds how this monsoon happens can you clear it and this monsoon what's the important of the monsoon winds the monsoon is a very very important part of the subcontinent climate all places do not get the same amount of rain during the monsoon thus we know some part get very heavy rain isn't it as the monsoon winds how it is happening means as the monsoon winds travel over the subcontinent they lose moisture that is so the places that receives the yearly monsoon one place this monsoon reaches very early means get heavier rain compared to the places where the monsoon reaches later so early as the monsoon reaches that place means it gets very heavy rain compared to the monsoon reaches later can you clear it ma okay can you clear it okay now we see that so three main seasons in india now we see that climate of india so in india that is three main seasons that is summer season and rainy season so now we see that during this rainy season only monsoon winds blow thus we see that then now see that winter season when this winter season starts that is usually november december and january january okay ma so the winter season that is usually november december and january by october the rainy season almost comes to an end okay by october the rainy season almost come to an end. the weather gradually becomes pleasant so rainy season over after weather becomes pleasant so not too hot not too cold okay that is the weather condition is very pleasant 
the sun doesn't seem so hot yeah the days are shorter and the nights are longer we already learned the summer seasons means the days are longer nights are short but at the same time winter season means the days are shorter and the nights are longer the days are shorter and the nights are longer these changes in weather marks the arrival of the winter season winter begins in november and lasts till february or march okay ma winter begins in november and last till february or march january is the coldest month we know january month is the coldest month so this winter season starts that is november december and january it is very cold in the mountain cycles and it night in desert areas the coastal areas are less cold coastal areas means can you clear it okay the land part meet the sea is called the coastal the coastal areas are less cold many parts of peninsular india do not get cold in winter okay ma the south eastern coastal regions of india has a winter monsoon so summer time also monsoon that name is called southwest monsoon and winter season that monsoon is called north east monsoon so do you know what's a monsoon okay ma according to this blowing direction of the winds it's called south west and north east monsoon okay that is blowing up the direction of the winds okay so this month january is the coldest month okay ma yes now we see that the himalayas experiences harsh winter with the temperature dipping below freezing point most places in the himalayan receive heavy snowfall okay himalayas receives heavy snowfall the northern plains also experiences very cold winter in the thaw desert the days are pleasant while the nights are bitterly cold during winters okay yes so from this lesson we learned the season that is summer season winter season rainy season also we see that summer rainy winter season and besides this autumn and spring seasons also have isn't it okay ma so this seasons how these seasons happens this is caused by due to the revolution of the earth around elliptical orbit that is the main reasons so the seasons are caused by the revolution of the earth okay so india's climate three main season summer season summer season means it starts usually april may and june okay ma okay now all of you open your book page number 38 take the pencil and mark it now that is seasons in india underline it can you clear it then summer that is you underline ma usually april may and june it can be very hot in plains and the desert areas and the plateau regions underline it ma summer season also underline summer and usually april may and june can you clear it then monsoon underline it it's usually june july and august usually june july and august underline it okay 
then third line from this monsoon third line by september it has gone from most of the subcontinent it is called the southwest monsoon underline ma by september it has gone from most of the subcontinent it is called southwest monsoon can you clear it okay then next how the monsoon happens page number 39 underline ma how the monsoon happens when monsoon winds blow over the sea which has been warmed by the heat of the sun underline it when monsoon winds blow over the sea which has been warmed by the heat of the sun the air picks up a lot of water vapor this rises to upper parts of the atmosphere can you clear it this line this is very very important so underline it this is the reason for how the monsoon happens can you clear it the next next stanza from the page number 39 second stanza that is the monsoon is very important part of the subcontinent climate all places do not get the same amount of rain during monsoon okay that first point first sentence fully completed underline it then now see that so the places that receives early monsoon get heavier rain compared to the places where the monsoon reaches later can you clear it underline it okay ma then we see that winter season that is underline it usually november december and january usually november december and Jan january it is very cold in this mountain and hills and in night in desert areas underline it mark yes then last sentence that is the south eastern coastal regions of india has a winter monsoon the northeast monsoon the south eastern coastal regions of india has a winter monsoon that is northeast monsoon okay so now listen here ma this so this underline first it today's you read this lesson this one two pages only you read it and very care to read this underline part okay okay can you clear it ma okay so today we will see that once again i recall today we will see that climate of india that's we already we know that what is climate what is weather climate means climate refers to the general weather conditions prevailing over a large area for a longer period of time okay that is a longer period of time that is seasons main three seasons summer winter rainy season and autumn and spring what is summer that is the period of time is april may and june okay then monsoon how this monsoon happens that is winds during this rainy season winds full of moisture it blowing from the sea okay these winds are known as monsoon winds during rainy season the winds flowing from seas and it is full of moisture these winds are called monsoon winds this monsoon winds help us to give the rains isn't it okay then we see that how the monsoon happens that's we already see the no when monsoon winds blow over the sea which has been warmed by the heat of the sun the air picks up a lot of water vapor this rises to the upper parts of atmosphere okay this is monsoon okay then how this monsoon is very important because it gives us rain okay then when winter season starts usually november december and january it is very cold in this mountain and hills okay ma okay i will give the question answer and yes i will give um, you neatly copy it okay ma okay next class we will see that and doubt means to call me okay thank you